Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go ahead and sculpt our boots here. Um, this is going to be a little bit more uh, a little bit more difficult because we want to make sure that the the cloth and the boots are going to react um, properly. And, and when I say the cloth, I mean the cloth of the pants because they have to be sort of tucked into the boots proper, and the boots have to really show a lot of um, somewhat wear and tear because you know he's going to be walking on those all day long, and so you know they're really going to take a beating in terms of how the mesh is and, and how worn the mesh is and so we really want to try to I don't want to say capture a whole lot of detail in it um, we definitely don't want to go overboard on the boots but we don't want to go underboard so there's a lot of middle ground that we have to try to try to c capture properly and I'm just basically you know going to sculpt it the same way that I've done the pants the jacket and the backpack with those sort of slice strokes and um, just trying to get it to give it the illusion that there's actually a lot of weight on him um, he may not be you know like say 700 pounds but it has to show that there's a lot of wear and tear in them and that he's been in them all day long and so we want to try to basically get the illusion of you know a lot of wear and tear on them especially if he's like say like walking through mud and and walking through water um, definitely out in the elements all day long And that goes with, you know, if your character can be sculpted any which way that you want, but if his shoes don't look right, the overall end result of the character just isn't going to, you know, have that that same beat up and, and worn feeling to it, especially in, in a wartime character. Um, I don't know if this guy would actually be a real wartime character, quote, because he doesn't, <coughs> you know, he isn't carrying any weapons, so... I guess he would be more like an intelligence officer, maybe, um, maybe a general, like General Patton, um, where he wouldn't actually be in the fight, but he would still be walking all day long. So his his boots are definitely a you know a sort of challenging thing to do and do properly. Um, you know, concept and reference art do help here, but you know the concept and the reference that you would probably get from Google just isn't going to give you an accurate representation of exactly how this tune character is you know supposed to to look or how the cloth on this tune character is you know specifically how it's supposed to be so you really want to try to you know give it a lot of variation um, I, I don't really want to say a whole lot of you know wear and tear I mean yeah you want wear and tear in there but you don't want an excessive amount of wear and tear um, it just has to basically look funny and it just has to all all fit together basically is the best way to describe it. And the end result that you know we have so far going is you know it's it's looking pretty good. Um, it, it's definitely been a lot of fun to go ahead and do this character. Um, he's definitely unique in terms of how he looks. Uh, he really does sort of remind me of. Uh, the Tom Sizemore character or the Tom Hanks character from Saving Private Ryan with a little bit of maybe, you know, General Patton in there. Uh, he sure does have some somewhat of an attitude himself. Um, I wouldn't say he really looks mean, but he looks funny. And if it brings a smile to someone's face, you know, I, I think I've done my job, you know, fairly well here. Um... I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial so far. And as you can see, you know, I'm I'm still just simply adjusting the boots and and trying to to make them look proper and and try to get that wear and tear on there right. And I'm, you know, constantly using the move brush and constantly using the uh the standard brush. I don't really necessarily use the uh the clay brush here or um, 
the inflate brush at all. I will use the smooth brush a lot to just to try and smooth back at least some of the detail so it's not excessive. And it just really has to look like it has a lot of weight on them. As you can see, you know, I'm really trying to sculpt in detail for for the character mesh here, for the for the boots, and it's just it all just takes a little bit of a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and just go with it, and you you know you eventually get there. As you can see, you know, I constantly spin the model around to to constantly check to see if uh, the detail on the character, just to make sure everything's flowing properly. And continue to just, you know, sculpt here, sculpt there, try to make it fit properly and work properly. As you can see, I'm using the pinch brush here to to pinch up a little bit of the fold so they're a little bit tighter. Because not everything is going to be, you know, 100% um, heavy folds. Um, they're definitely a little bit more creasing in terms of the boots. And you don't want, I don't want everything to, to sort of be that heavy um, there has to be a little bit of pinching in terms of the folds and, and that's why I'm using the pinch brush right now just to basically tighten up the folds and as you can see you know he's he's looking pretty funny um, I'll definitely do a BPR render here to to go ahead and look at it all Definitely, you know, zoom in on the on the boots here too, and do a BPR render there to make sure that all the shadows are, you know, looking properly and everything's, you know, reacting the way that I want it to react. <coughs> and as you can see, I have to adjust the pants mesh here a little bit because they're sort of <coughs> interfering with the uh, with the boots, and I want to make sure that they're going to be 
sort of tucked into the boots properly. And as a note, I mean, I know that uh, people have, you know, really been sending requ requests to the site for, you know, some more ZBrush tutorials, and uh, we'll try and do some more for you guys to get you a little bit more uh, up to speed for ZBrush, and this is why I've chosen to bring this tutorial to you guys, and the Z tools in particular, so that you guys can, you know, study them and have fun with them. Um, definitely, if you use them in your projects, you know, you should at least, you know, give me credit or uh, give credit to me or credit to CG Touch Plus, you know, for, for bringing this tutorial to you guys. And if you have ideas for more Touch, you know, you can contact me through my author page on um, Touch Plus. And, you know, and suggest a tutorial. Um, and if it's an idea that, you know, something we enjoy or something I would enjoy doing, I will definitely, you know, try to get you more information on doing it properly or how to do it in general. And as you can see, I'm still sculpting the pants too because in some area, you know, in some cases you may have to go back over your model to to add a li little bit more detail on the character and you know I'm always constantly you know studying the mesh and, and trying to understand the mesh to get that detail across